Hey guys, welcome back to GeoGhost to play along. Today's maps are an arbitrary world, no move, uh, followed by a diverse AI world, no move, no pan, no zoom. So let's get started, starting off with an arbitrary world. Let's go, one minute, so we can move around. Now immediately this is Malaysia, we've got the double white lines and we've got the uh, stickers which you see in Peninsula Malaysia, so uh, yeah, it's also kind of dry, we've got some high mountains, it looks very beautiful here, wow, could this even be something like Penang Island, I'm not sure, we have a sign but I can't make out the number or anything, uh, but yeah, with this dry looking grass, I don't know exactly where, could this be further north though, I might go, I might go Penang, I feel like, I feel like it could be this hill, but um, Really not sure. I feel like the dry areas are towards the northern corner, but I can't quite remember, so let's give that a try. Um, yeah, not too sure. Okay, well it was the north, it wasn't Penang Island, but uh, yeah, maybe it is this northwest corner where you have um, drier looking kind of grass. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's move on to the next round. Okay, round two, what do we have? Uh, oops, why is this blue? Oh, I don't know, but uh, anyway. Uh, this feels kind of Baltic, maybe? We've got a wide kind of dirt track road. Could this be Latvia? Or is this too hilly to be the Baltics? I'm not sure. Um, this house does look kind of Baltic. It could just be Russia as well. That's also an option. We don't have any poles, at least I can see. Um, very, very rural location. Yeah, this could easily just be Russia. But if it is Russia, probably is the European part. But yeah, this one is very tough to tell. I think I'm going to go Eastern Russia and hedge. No, I'm going to go Russia itself, but hedge near Latvia. No, I'm going to go Latvia. Let's see. Hedge the Eastern part. But I feel like this could just be Russia. So let's see. Okay, it was, yep, it was Latvia, so that's good. Uh, yep, and only 77 kilometers off, yeah, I was uh, having trouble deciding. I'm glad I didn't go anywhere, like, deep into Russia. That would have been um, a lot worse a score, so, yeah, paid off in the end. Yeah, I find Latvia, you often have these kind of um, wide dirt track roads that almost remind me of kind of... The, right, the wide dirt track roads you get in Argentina, you see a lot in Latvia. But you do have to be careful because you see a lot of wide roads in Lithuania as well, and sometimes Estonia, but I feel like this kind of road is especially common in Latvia. But, um, yeah, it can, be, it can be hard to tell. It's just a good rule of thumb, but it doesn't always work. Um, rural, Bal rural Baltics can be very, very tough to tell apart. Um, yep. Anyway, on to the next round, let's see. Okay, what's this? This feels like Germany. We've got German looking bollards with these two dots, um, which also exist in Luxembourg, but I think this is Germany. Germany, I think, has more of this darker uh, coverage than Luxembourg does. I can't read the language, but uh, yeah, I think it's Germany. Um, it's quite flat. Um, but there's only 20 cities covered, so I'm thinking probably in northern Germany. Maybe I'll just go in the uh, rural area. Or no, I think I'm going to hedge just a bit in the middle. Maybe which cities has have coverage in the middle? Hanover has coverage. Bielefeld. Yeah, I'm going to go Bielefeld. Bielefeld. Let's try that. We've got a house here, white, whitish house, but... That doesn't tell me too much. Okay, it was the rural area, and it was Duisburg, so... Yep. Not too bad. Right, on to the next round, round four. Let's see. Okay, oh, lots of... These kind of conif coniferous trees. Um, I think this is either... Russia or Latvia. We've got these... Uh, kilometer markers. Um, I think you can tell apart which Baltic country it is by the angle 
that it's facing, but I haven't learnt that, so I don't know. But I'm not sure if this is Baltics or just Russia. I think this might just be Russia here. Um, with a very wide road and all this space here. If it's not Russia, I think it could be Latvia, but I think this is probably Russia. Kind of northwestern Russia looks a lot like this, maybe around Moscow. Um, perhaps, but do we have a blue strip on the car? The car's a bit too far away to tell, but I can't see any blue strips, so... And that sign over there does look like it could be Russian, so... Yeah, it's a kind of north-south road, yeah. I think somewhere around here is okay. Around this area. Okay, actually it was a lot further east than I expected. Wow. Near Ozirki, okay. Yeah, I didn't expect that to be eastern Russia, but... um. Yeah, it was. GG's if you got close there. That was a uh, very tough round. Next round, let's see. Round five, okay. Uh, this should be Japan. I think this is Locam. And these kind of fences look very Japanese. So, the question now is where? I don't know, it's... Kind of quite a typical Japan. I think I'm going to hedge close to the middle. We do have some kind of... Oh, we have these feathery... I think I've seen a lot of these feathery plants further south, but I have seen them towards the middle of Japan as well. So I think I'm going to hedge a bit further west because of those feathery plants, but I'm still trying to figure out where they're most common in Japan. It might be all over the, all over the country. I've just seen a lot of them further south. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hedge a little bit. Let's go around here somewhere. Let's try that. Yeah, okay, it was further north. It was Niigata. But at least I didn't go super far, super far south. So yeah, let's see. Okay, we got 18,352. Um, so... Yeah, all right, fairly average score for me. Um, Latvia, Germany, and Malaysia were pretty good. Uh, Russia got the wrong region, but not too much I could do about that. Let me know if you have any good clues that that was um, more central Russia. I'm not too sure about the, the trees, if there's a particular tree that exists further east. I'm not too sure. Yeah, anyway, let's have a look at the high scores. So I'm in 20th place and 219 people played, so GG's. And let's have a look at the top 30. So well done to those of you who made it to the top 30 scores. Uh, very good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. We had this Russia guess. Almost everybody guessing somewhat further west in the location. Only one person in the east. Um... But yeah, a few a few people, only only me around Moscow. A few people, yeah, quite far northwest also makes sense. Yeah, that was quite a surprising location. Uh, we had this. Yeah, we had this Latvia guess. Almost everybody in Latvia actually. I'm surprised there weren't any Russia guesses in the top thirty. Um, a few Lithuanians and a few, a couple of Estonians as well. But everybody in the top thirty got the Baltics. So GG's there. Um, and we had this Germany. Uh, most people getting Germany and a couple in France or Switzerland. The main clue was probably the bollards, uh, the Gen 2 camera, and um, yeah, those are the two main clues there. And lots of people in the rural area, so uh, yeah. I should have just gone there, but I did go Bielefeld. No Americas and no Africa, so this is a very Europe and Asia heavy round. And yeah, we had this... Malaysia, a bunch of people uh, going in the centre of mainland Malaysia, everybody got the peninsula part, so um, I think the stickers helped a lot there. And we had Japan, so actually I was uh, almost the furthest west of anybody, so uh, yeah. I probably shouldn't have trusted the uh, feathery plants too much, I don't think that works too well for Japan. I feel like with countries like Japan and you know, Indonesia and stuff, I'm always trying to find more regional clues to help distinguish the regions, but it's very, very tough, especially when you're in, like, 
rural roads like that to find a good clue that can determine the determine the region, but yeah, that was just a generic middle Japan. So on to a diverse AI world, no move, no pan, no zoom. Should be interesting. I know a lot of these locations are not always facing the road, so um yeah, I think every location is facing north, so we could get some super tricky rounds here, but let's see. Because this is NMPZ. Okay, so we have a European location to start off with. Um, we have a house in the background. I don't know, it feels quite Western European. Um, got a kind of hedgerow here. It doesn't feel like the UK though. I feel like it could be France, could be Denmark. Um, the house doesn't really tell me too much. Nothing's jumping out on me. It's, it's possible that this, this is still the UK though. Uh, very flat. Um, yeah, hard to tell. Somewhere around this region, I think, but a little bit dry here. Yeah, Gen 2 camera. Somewhere Western European, not too sure. Mm. Actually, maybe that house does remind me of Scotland a little bit. Mm. Not too sure. Mm. No, I don't think so. Oh, it was France, yeah. Yeah, I think it was too far away to see properly. I was looking at some of the... Yeah, that wasn't really the style I was trying to think of. I thought it was like a Pebble Dash uh, Scottish building for a second, but... Yeah, it wasn't. I should have just gone with France, because the uh, landscape didn't feel Scottish, but I was, uh, yeah, kind of panic guessing in the last second. Yeah, on to the next round. Let's see. Round two. Okay. Uh, again, this feels like kind of European. We've got We've got some bollards, but I can't really make them out. Um, slightly hilly, got a dirt road veering to the kind of north here, is this like going to be a Sweden or something or is this more Central Europe like Czechia or something? I suppose that could be a Czechian bollard or Slovak bollard. This could be Czechia but yeah very hard to tell, we don't have any road markings so maybe that is a good clue that we're further east. No road markings, not too sure though. This could easily be like Sweden. Something like that. I think this is Europe, for sure. For some reason I'm between Czechia and Sweden, I don't know, let's go here up in the hills. Oh, it was Czechia, nice. Okay, I should have kept it in the middle. Because there are a lot, of, there are a lot of kind of hilly areas around the fringes of the country, but yeah, was just middle check here. So yeah, GG's on that. Cool. On to the next round. Redeemed myself a bit after the first round. So, uh, what do we have here? This feels like uh, maybe Argentina or something. Maybe Argentina. We've got a car. I can't make out the plate, or even if there is a plate there. Uh, we've got some poles. They don't really tell me too much, but I'm thinking either like Argentina, Uruguay. The sun is kind of north, I, th I think, so I think that area kind of makes sense. Uh, whereabouts? We've got a lot of trees, quite green trees, so I think this is not too far south and not too far west. I think, yeah, maybe just a Buenos Aires hedge or something would work here, because it could be Uruguay, and that's quite close to Uruguay. We're in an urban area as well. Um, yeah, suburban Buenos Aires. Doesn't feel like it's in the city. It was Cordoba, but it was Argentina, so at least that was correct. Um, but yeah, Cordoba also makes a lot of sense there. Cool, next round. Round four, let's see. Uh, this feels more Asian. These roofs feel very Asian, almost like Malaysian, maybe. Um, the the roofs seem to be quite a strong material, so I think this could be uh, Malaysia over Indonesia, quite possibly, but hard to tell. Is it? Can it be anything else? Can it be Sri Lanka? I don't think so. Thailand, Philippines. I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm leaning Malaysia here. So, should I guess Peninsula or Borneo? I'm not too sure. 
It's fairly flat. Lots of palms. I think because I could go Sarawak, but um, more western to hedge in case it's the peninsula of Malaysia to get more points. Yeah, maybe Sarake or something. Let's go here. It feels quite remote that it could be Borneo, but. Oh, I was just mainland. Okay. But it was Malaysia, so. Got 2,470 points there. Nice. On to the next round. Okay. Let's see. Uh, We've got a big mountain here. Wow. Driving on the right, we've got a kind of. Uh, diamond sign, so this is probably the Americas. Now I'm thinking about Mexico here. Don't know why Mexico jumps to mind. Like, could this be the big mountain in Mexico, maybe? I think it's near uh, Mexico City. Not too sure, though, but... Um, is it this one? Maybe. There's a mount big mountain that's labelled somewhere, but... Um, I'm going to assume it's this one. It's kind of to the north, a little bit west. Like, could we be here? Maybe. It's a Gen 4 camera. Where's the sun? I should probably check that. Because mm, it could be Argentina, but I uh, can't quite tell, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's, let's leave it here. It was Mexico. It was further north. Near Jalmave. So, yep. Yeah, I was thinking that the landscape did feel a little bit too dry to be down there. I was just trying to think where it'd have this kind of mountain, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't the... Uh, it wasn't like the volcano I was thinking of. This sign is very Mexican. Um, but yeah, I should have gone further north there. This does feel quite dry. Um, the landscape that you'd see more closer to Texas or something, or the US border. Um... So yeah, that does make sense. Oh, that was the last round, so let's view the summary. And we got 15,970. Um, meh, yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed with the France one. I should have just kept my guess there. Um, I was overthinking the house in the distance, but yeah, couldn't really see it well enough to uh, make a good guess. Um, yeah, Mexico was... Okay, yeah, I sh yeah. This one probably cost me a lot getting Borneo instead of mainland Malaysia, but yeah, I don't know if there was a good clue for mainland Malaysia there. Were there? I don't think there are any stickers visible, but this is a remote kind of side road, so yeah, difficult to tell. Yeah, I don't know if the architecture style is something. This kind of orange painted orange wall is something regional. No idea. It could be. Yeah, these very colourful houses. Maybe it's a certain style. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, let's see the top scores. So, 201 people played. GG's. So, I came in 36th place. So, let's have a look at the top 30 scores. So, we had this Malaysia round. We had uh, a lot of Indonesia guesses, actually. Um, yeah, I was in Bor the Borneo part of Malaysia. Uh, so, GG's to the mainland guesses there. Um, one in Thailand as well, so that's that. Uh, we had this Argentina, a few Uruguays, um, but most people in Argentina, yeah, a, a few people in central Argentina. I wonder if there was a good clue that this was more central. Did it look a bit dry? Maybe, I, I think central Argentina has more kind of winter coverage. Mm. Not too sure because I, I think I see that a lot around Buenos Aires as well. Yeah, not really sure a good clue for that was. But yeah, well done to the central guesses. Uh, we had Mexico. Uh, a couple actually guessing in Argentina there, but it was Mexico. Um, most people around the middle or the north. Um, I was looking for a big mountain. I guess too far south. Um, I probably should have been thinking about the overall, like, feel of the landscape rather than looking for a uh, volcano for that one. And we had this France. France makes sense. I I got baited and went Scotland. Um, yeah, well done to the France guesses. And we had Czechia, so 
yeah, really happy to, to to get that. That was an easy round, I think. Yeah, a lot of Slovakia, a lot of Poland gets as well. Were there any in Sweden? There was one in Sweden. I was definitely considering this as a kind of second option. So, uh, yeah, we had a few in Croatia, Slovenia, Austria as well. GG's. So, yeah, good games. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching and playing along. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be putting the links down below for the challenges for the video I will do on Tuesday. So, uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. And I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.